Yo, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Triple Bs is back in the Haunted Basement studio and welcome and thank you for joining me today. And in this video, I'm going to do Scream 6 trailer breakdown. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Cheers, y'all. All right, man, so they go busting into this bodega and it's like, what are they saying right here? I can't understand what they're saying. They're like, saying something but they talk talk over each other jenna otega says there's a man out there and then that's when ghostface comes busting in through the door and it feels like this ghostface is trained in military or something because he's able to take down the guy with the shotgun like you know he fucking stabs the guy he gets the shotgun then he shoots the other guy and then they they look at him and you kind of see him through the aisleway but yeah, this is not like a sloppy ghost face that's going to trip over himself or he can't see, you know, clumsy ghost face because most of them are. This one looks like he may be, you know, out for something like he's not just a kid in this one. I had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. So what do you what does she mean? You know, there's a there's a darkness inside of me and then she's holding on to a mask and it looks like a weathered old mask like a mask that's like 20 years old is that billy loomis's mask that she's holding and if so then how the hell does she have it and why does she have it and where did she get it from so that is makes so many questions just in that one clip there's a darkness that followed me here and then it's going to show Ghostface there in the background coming to a door. You know, is there a darkness that's coming out of her, Samantha, and Samantha's becoming Ghostface? Why the hell does she have this mask? And we see Ghostface in the trailer wearing a similar mask. It followed me. And she says it's going to keep coming for us. How does she know this? And what is going on? This trailer has so many damn questions. And then right here, look at Jenna Otego's look right here when she kind of looks up. Tell me what does that look like? Does it look like she's fucking, like, bad? Or does she look good? Does she look like she want revenge on her sister? Maybe they, they never really did get along too much. If you think back in part five, Tara is pissed off at Samantha because she left her there. And then she just comes back into town thinking everything's okay. And when she told her about who her real father was, Tara kicked her the fuck out of her hospital room. So, very fucking interesting. This isn't like any other ghost face. And it's really good to see Hayden Pantiera back as Kirby. But she says, you know, this isn't like any other ghost face. And what does she mean by that? And how does she know about the other ones? I guess it, she doesn't know about part five because she wasn't in it. Uh, where has she been all this time? We thought maybe she died because she did get stabbed in part four. But um, how does she know this isn't like any other ghost face? And it kind of does take you back to that beginning scene at the bodega when the ghost face is acting like he's from the military or he has some special training. All right, man, let's talk about one of the most interesting parts of the trailer. And it's when they walk into the shrine. What the hell is this place? Is it just some secret society or is it a fucking museum that they have in fucking New York City? I don't know, but let's fucking take a look at this right now. All right, man. First thing you fucking see is you got a bunch of statues of ghost faces and it looks like they're wearing their attire on the nights that they, they died. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine ghost faces. Now, if you think about it, we got two and one, two and two, one and three. So that's five. And then we got two and four and then two and five. So that's that accounts for everyone, even Stu Mocker right there. All right. And if you kind of look over to the right hand side, you'll see a ghost face mask. And like some pictures and shit on the bottom shelf of that. And then right above it, there's nothing there. So maybe something's gotten taken from there. And we got to, and you go all the way over to the left and you see some sort of drawing there. 
It almost looks like Michael Myers there to the left in that drawing picture. But what the hell is this place? Uh, she says it's a shrine, but is it, like I said, some secret society or is it something different? And who the fuck has all this shit in one place? This makes no sense. This has a lot of fucking questions. And this was a four or five second little clip, man. And Gina Ortega, she says, we're going to lure him in and fucking kill him. But then now we got this crazy ass scene here with Gail Weathers, where it is the first time in franchise history that she gets a call from Ghostface and she fucking answers the phone and she's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. What the hell did she say? Let's watch this. Tenth guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. Man, when he comes fucking busting through the fucking wall right there. And he says, because I'm something different. And she's like, that's why I'm going to shoot you in the head. They always want to shoot him in the head. But he says he's something different. Again, going back to this ghost face has strategy. And maybe he's fucking, you know, armored up. Who knows? And this fucking ending of the trailer is really fast. So let's slow it down and just take a look at it. And we'll see what the fuck is going on. Because there is a lot of little clues here and misleading images so let's take a look at it and it's showing tara and sam back to back and then it's showing mindy crossing the apartments and then in the background it's it looks like tara but it looks like tara like she might be mad it doesn't, or she's hurt or it looks like she fucking could be ghost face samantha's holding a gun at someone and says you want me let's finish this and then it also shows Mindy and Samantha running through a hallway and then Ghostface right behind them. So maybe this confirms that Mindy and Samantha are not Ghostface. All right, man, let's just get right down to it. This is probably what everybody's fucking talking about. Look at those eyes. Look at what Jenna Otago's expression on her face is. And is that because she is one of the Ghostface? And it very well could be true. Look at all that dark makeup underneath her eyes. That could be her hiding her face when she has the mask on. This is all speculation. And, but man, look at that. That is kind of trippy. So let's uh, talk about a little bit of some of the fan theories or some of the theories that you're kind of hearing. Number one is Stu Mocker, the killer in this. Everybody, a lot of people want him back and a lot of people don't want him back. Um, me, either or, would be great, but I think he's coming back in seven. But another crazy-ass one is that, you know, Samantha's a killer. But I don't think she is because some of the little scenes I saw in this, she's not. They want you to think she is because she has her dad's figment in, in her brain, in her head, you know. So maybe so, but I don't think so. And then another theory that we got is that is there only one killer or maybe is it going to be the classic two killers maybe three killers in this one or is there a cult of ghost face out there and if there's a cult of ghost face is there a team leader of that why are all these old masks showing up whose masks are these that is crazy and another theory you know Stu is dead but maybe he had a kid also because Billy did. They introduced that he had a daughter. Maybe Stu had a son, and it's Stu's son that is orchestrating these other ghost face. Or maybe he and Tara got together and he manipulated her, and they are the ghost face. Or maybe he didn't manipulate Tara at all, and they just became boyfriend and girlfriend and started fucking and then they want to fucking kill samantha because they don't have a good relationship dating back from the first fucking you know episode episode first movie fucking scream five because this is a sequel and these days baby 
we gotta have a sequel. So I don't know. That's all the speculations. Those are some of the theories out there. Fucking trailer was awesome. I cannot fucking wait for Scream 6. And if you guys don't want to miss out any more news or any if they drop any more trailers, any other pictures, come to my channel. I'm going to fucking be covering it all. And especially when the movie comes out, I'll be doing a review on that. Thank you for watching me today in a haunted basement studio. Triple B's is out, and you motherfuckers keep it whore. Laters.